This video will show you how to create lesson plans posted in Skyward for family and student access. To access your lesson scheduler, you need to be in Teacher Access and click on Lesson Scheduler. This will take you to a calendar type view, and you can change the way your display settings are. If you click on the display options below, you can choose how you want your calendar to appear. At the secondary level, you would probably want period to display to follow your schedule. If you're at the elementary level, you may want time so you can customize when you're teaching specific subjects. You probably want a short description based on your Skyward schedule, and you may not want Saturday and Sunday to appear. Since you want families and students to be able to access your plans, you want to check box both of these to automatically show what you put in on their calendars also. Once you're satisfied with how you set it, click Save. You can see by day, month, or week, and you should see all the periods that when, which you are assigned to class down below. So let's put in an item for a specific class. Click the plus sign. This will bring up a page to add a general item. When you enter your information, you have to give it a summary, give it a date, and you can choose details if you'd like. Once again, you want to make sure that this is defaulting to show on both the family and student access calendar. And click save and back. This puts a general item in the one specific class for one day. If you needed to edit this item, you can click on the item itself, which will give you small details, and you can click Edit. If I was teaching multiple sections of the same class, I could copy this to other classes, and all the other classes that I have assigned to me as a teacher, I could do the checkbox here, and then I would need to save it again. Now say I wanted to add an item that's going to be a daily activity. I would create the item with the summary and details if I choose, and then I need to click Recurrence. This item would be a daily item, and I want it to recur every weekday until a specified time. In this case, I'm going to choose the rest of the week. Click Save. And then I'm going to click Save and Back. This created a general item for this class over a series of days. If I had wanted this series to also apply to multiple sections, I could have added copy to other classes when I was creating it. Or if I created this series and I wanted to clone it to my other sections, I would just click Clone and I would copy to my other classes. And again, save and hit back. If for some reason there was a change in the schedule, such as a snow day or a school convocation, I can move this item to another day. There's no need to recreate it on a different date. If I wanted to create an item on my lesson plan that also creates a gradebook assignment, I would put my information here as usual but this time I'm going to click Create Gradebook Assignment. What this will do will automatically create an event in your assignment book that you can give a score to. So for this example, this is going to be a project. I'm going to leave it as a maximum score of 100 points. I do want the families and students to be able to see this. I'm then going to hit Save and Back. This created an item in my gradebook where I can just simply enter scores now. And should I want to print my schedule to leave for, say, a sub, I just click Print Schedule here, and this will bring up the PDF version that I can print out. When you print your lesson scheduler, the details that you put in will also be available in italics. This makes it very convenient for subs to know the details of your lesson plan. Now let's look at it from a student perspective. When a student looks at their calendar in Student Access, they can see the events that have been placed on their calendar by teachers. For example, our pretest is here. And when the student clicks on it, there will be the same information that the teacher entered before. And as always, the students can customize their color code on their calendar for their own preferences. And if they have missed an assignment, it will be outlined in red. 